So you know, sir, that we had requested for some budgets for the show, mm. and they were approved about ten lakhs. Now I'm going to divide this money. Uh, just see, tell me whether you agree with me or not. Okay. So we need about out of the ten lakhs, we need about uh, two lakhs for costumes, mm. two lakhs for makeup and wigs and all that because they're getting very expensive now, wigs and all that. Mm. Then we need about two lakhs for transport. Mm. And another two lakhs for special effects and all that kind of stuff, and then well, 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 the rest for food and all that. Yeah, so yeah. You think is okay with you? Uh, so food two lakhs, transport yeah. two lakhs, costumes yeah. two lakhs, makeup wigs two lakhs. Yeah. Uh, Kuna, you know, yeah. I was thinking, see, we can get food from home. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Home. From home. Okay. That what you could Tiffin service. So we'll, uh -huh. we'll can this. We'll we'll keep that two okay, lakhs. Okay. So we save two lakhs over yeah. here. Okay. That we can keep. We can keep that. We'll take the food from home. We're not doing cheating. I don't want anything corrupt. Okay, so you keep that money. I'll get that money, okay. and I'm saying I'll provide the food. I'll get my mom to send food from home. Okay, okay. we have the same appetite. We have the same uh, huh. food likes. Huh. What is this transport? Huh. Transport? Do we really need to uh, use their transport? Yeah, people have to go around up and down, up and down. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sure we can work around this because I've also got my car. I'll keep my driver here. I'll, I'll okay. use him a little bit. So I, okay. why, why don't you let me just keep this in my personal budget? Uh -huh. So I'll keep. So that food also. two lakhs you're keeping, okay. transport two lakhs. Costumes, keeping. you know that we've got that little thing on the side that we do with the theatre group. So I've got that uh, whole cupboard with uh, all my mother's old clothes, my father's old clothes, and Aisha's old clothes. So I'm saying I'll, I'll, I'll bring costumes from there. So I think I'll keep that too. I'll keep that too also. So this too also you're keeping. I'll keep, I'll keep it and I'll provide the costumes. So. Okay. And then makeup and wigs. Remember we have all the old stuff from our old productions. I have at least three yeah, wigs at home. Some, yeah, okay. So I can use that makeup. I'll buy from Ambo, my uh, friend, because she mm. gets a discounts from that. What's it called? Mac, Mac, Mac. Mm. Huh? So I I'll keep that. Give me the two lakhs for that. I I'll this provide you. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do okay. it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm quite. I'm quite confident. And special effects? What is special effects? Yeah, basically we just have you job popping out from here, popping out from there. That's money for jam. Give it to me, and I will invest. I will get someone to work on special effects and get us to enhance special effects. Our program goes up. Huh? So that. 10 lakhs that has been allotted, uh, yeah. we are not spending it at all. No, no, we are spending it. I will take the 10 lakhs and I'll provide. Nah, I'll give you the food, I'll give you the transport, I'll give you the costume, I'll give you the makeup, and I'll give you the special effects. Okay, cool? Okay. Huh? So just get that done and uh, yeah, good to go. Hello and welcome to the R ah, That Wasn't. And let me tell you, this show is simulcast. Yes, that's TV jingo lingo that I sort of use. Uncle, auntie, you may not understand it. But yes, it's simulcast over 132 countries as we speak, except for the country of Japan. And that's because apparently in Japan, the R is not pronounced. So you can't do R, that wasn't. You know, Mitsubishi, no R, Honda, no R. They can't have a Rajya Sabha because there's no R. It's the Rajya Sabha. Nevertheless, let's get on with it. And here it is, our first segment, which we call Anything But The Truth, which is obviously stuff we pick up from the newspaper and is all completely true. True. Here it is, anything but the truth. All right, we'll start with this. Hindustan Times has announced a great initiative. No TV day this weekend. I'll repeat this, folks. No TV day this weekend. Please give them a warm round of applause. <laughs> now, since you are still watching this program, you obviously don't subscribe to Hindustan Times. What a shame. What a waste. What the hell happened? Who was thinking this through? Okay, we can cancel TV back on. Rajnath <laughs> defends Parikar. Yes, it's not a wrestling match, so it should be. Defense Minister Manohar Parikar's remarks about neutralizing terrorists through terrorists raised a lot of eyebrows this week. But Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh on Sunday defended his cabinet colleague and the defense minister's statement. So who are the homegrown terrorists the BJP is referring to? Uh, you know, that they sort of know. Who are they talking about? Oh, oh. Okay, let's not go there. I never said anything. The R is silent. It's telolist. Telolist, I was saying. There's no R. There's no R. New tax in Maharashtra. To try and tackle the rental problems in Maharashtra, the Maharashtra State Housing Policy may decide that if you own a house and it is unoccupied, you may soon have to pay a new tax, which will be double of what you're paying at present. It will be called the vacant house tax. Hmm, the vacant house tax. I wonder if parliament can fall under that. I mean, think it was, they, they, they don't operate all the time. It's vacant. What about a vacant wife tax, you know, when she goes away? Anybody? No, no, no. Let's move on. British PM freezes salaries. British PM David Cameron announced this week that all government ministers' salaries will remain frozen for the next five years. He says that the freeze will save 800,000 a year, making a total saving of 4 million by the next election, and will help cut the country's deficit. Hmm, this is also the first time an act by government has got the full support of the opposition. They went berserk, they were like, beautiful, let's do it, let's do it, 10 years, 10 years. 
By the way, an Indian minister responding to this salary cut off the record, off the record said, see, that's why we in India don't depend on our salaries for our income. I don't know how our ministers make money. I mean, I've never seen a poor minister, so obviously there must be some fundraisers, you know, NGO work, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Tata is not interested in Air India. Let me understand this whole thing. The Tata Group has ruled out reacquiring Air India if and when the government decides to divest in it. So basically, the Tatas are not interested in Air India, which is understandable. Forget the Tatas. What the real question should be is, is Air India still interested in Air India? I'm a big fan of Air India. Because in Japan, it's Air India, because there's no R. So you... <laughs> Did I say that? I already said that. DC police fine pressure cooker. Normally, this wouldn't be news in any part of the world, but we ran out of things to do, so we got this one. Police in Washington, D.C. discovered, true story, a pressure cooker in an abandoned vehicle near the U.S. Capitol and destroyed it. A spokesperson for the D.C. police said they finally decided to destroy the cooker because they couldn't stand the pressure. <laughs> take your time, take your time. Throw things at the TV, I encourage you. Indian tourists nearby were disappointed by this action as they were hoping to pick up the pressure cooker real cheap. I tell you, us Indians, remember the tsunami and how we all rushed to the island because it was cheap? Okay, RIL to reopen petrol pumps. Uh, Reliance Industries announced its plans to start reopening its petrol pumps by March 2016. And by the end of 2015-16, all of its 1,400 fuel pumps will be open once again. Now, since I work for Reliance, I will probably be your friendly neighborhood petrol pump attendant by then. <laughs> How much? Bolo, kitna, kitna, kitna. This sounds vulgar. Okay, stop doing that. Okay, that was our segment, Anything But The Truth. Let's move on to our next segment. It's called The Anger Report. Now, in this segment, what I basically do is I meet this gentleman who represents you, but with a lot of angst. He's like Amitabh Bachchan from the 80s, only 9 inches shorter and 40 kilos heavier. <laughs> ah, so, so, is it finally over? Is it finally over, huh? Uh, uh, oh, sorry, what? Are you always so stupid? Or is today a special occasion, huh? I'm talking about this IPL. Yes, yes, it's over, it's over. No need to be mean to me, it's over. Horrible, horrible, horrible to see this kind of cricket in colored clothes. <laughs> Did you see that shoulder area of the Mumbai Indian team uniform? Eh? Um, let me try and explain to you don't what... Don't think, don't think. It may sprain your brain. Yeah, I remember that, but I just... It was gold foil! Ah. <laughs> like a wrapping paper. Shiny. What is it supposed to be, huh? Virat Kohli wrapped up for Anushka Sharma? What kind of uniform is this? You should stop calling it uniform and you should start calling it costume. Rubbish, rubbish. Well, let me explain again. You know, it's a slightly more informal game, the kind of, uh, you know, thing that they're informal playing. Informal game? If it is an informal game, you can roll up your white sleeves. Why do you have to dress like you've just acted in a Govinda film? Uh, now, sir, let me just explain to you. And that noise in the stadium. Loud banging music after each ball and after each wicket and after each run. Do you know, I was outside the one Kennedy the other day when that match started. The sound was so loud that I told the taxi fellow, Drive far away from Bankhari Stadium towards suburbs. <laughs> but the sound became louder and louder and louder. Ask me why, ask me why. I am going to ask you why, why? The match was being played at D.Y. Patil Stadium, but I could hear the noise at Bankhari. It's a mood of celebration, sir, celebration. How did you get here? Did someone leave your cage door open or what? Why, why are you being mean to me? It's the cheerleaders, they dance, we need the music, it's all a package thing. Is that why they have cheerleaders? You tell me, what is the purpose of those cheerleaders, huh? Do they bring anything to the table? Are they relevant to the game at all? What is their contribution to the game of cricket? Now, how do I explain such a different kind of format? You know, I... I can understand different format, but cheerleaders? Look, one minute. Are you against cheerleaders? Are you one of those conservative sort of guys who... No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that, huh? No, 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 you just said that they were irrelevant to the game. Cheerleaders. Oh, that is okay. My problem is this. Why are they dancing when there is a wicket, a six or a four, huh? Oh, yeah, what, what, what meaning? 
you are paying them good money, no? Yeah. So show them continuously. It's better than watching that cricket. Oh, uh, give me a second because there's something. But, but you just said that they are irrelevant. You're, you're contradicting yourself. You said they're irrelevant. So are the team owners, but you show them, no? <laughs> Then why not show cheerleaders more? Hey, I'm just saying, okay? Your points have been noted, and sometimes the cheerleaders and the team owners look exactly the same. No, 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 no. I have one big, very, very big complaint, Mr. Brocha. What, what, what? I think all those commentators should be sacked. No, Melissa, now you're very prejudiced. What have they done that has upset you, sir? Are, where have the greats like the Richie Beno, Henry Blofeld, Lala Amarnath, and Pataudi gone? I'll tell you. They're all dead. When? Oh, okay. So, so what? So what? So what? You listen to me, Suresh. You listen to me. No, no, again, my name is not Suresh, although in the South I do get called. Hey, it's okay, okay. I can't seem to remember your name and please don't help me, okay? Just go on, huh? Sir, please. Let's, let's, uh, if I was to ask you, what is the one thing that is wrong with today's commentators, according to you, realistically, what would you say? Uh, what would I say? All these quotations. Uh, sorry, you mean, um... Quotations, quotations. This Navjot Singh Sidhu started all this and now it is spreading like an element. Ailment. Element, element, like a disease. Ailment. A I L M E N T L. Aray, same thing, na? See how that Richie Beno used to talk, ah? Eh? Take all the credit you can for victory in the sure and certain knowledge that you will be given the blame in defeat. That is a quotation. A wonderful one, yes, indeed. And what about this? दो आलू को जोड़ने से बनती है पैटी और चूहे के पीछे भागती रहती है कैटी दुनिया में एक ही लड़की है जो बिल्कुल नहीं है फैटी आई लव यू शिल्पा शैटी इट्स नॉट शैटी इट्स शैटी शैटी इज समथिंग एल्स इट्स अ बिट लाइक व्हाट्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ योर माउथ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड एंड दैट रवि शास्त्री द बॉल हैज गॉन टू द बाउंड्री लाइक अ ट्रेसर बुलेट What tracer bullet? Huh? I have never heard of anything called a tracer bullet before. Where is the tracer bullet available? No, no, it's a reference from the Gulf War of 1991. They were very popular. I want to be people. I want to be infield bullet, but nobody's heard of tracer bullet. No, you're being too literal. You're being ridiculous, really. I am very literal. I am double graduate from Ferguson College, Pune. It is that Navjot Singh Sidhu that is illiteral. He is not illiteral. He is illiterate. No, but whatever. You know what I'm saying. Are he is saying? Feeling the pressure like a midget in a urinal. Now you tell me, when is the last time he was feeling a midget in the urinal? Ah, uh, at which urinal does he go to? Ah, uh, what? Sir, his brain waves fall a little short of the beat. Ah, uh? have they ever considered suing their brains for non-support? Don't they know the meaning of the word stupid? But then again, they don't know the meaning of most words. I don't understand these people. They should be banned completely, totally taken off the air. No, no, listen. You cannot talk like that. Listen, sir. He's a member of parliament. You please stop it. Uh, the views expressed by that gentleman were all his own. He will never appear on this channel again. I apologize totally. My <laughs> God, midget in a urinal. And I mean, why you? F oh, maybe it's a, maybe it's just a metaphor for something else. But let's just go on. Let's go on because the R is silent and should be the whole bloody R. Okay, moving on to our in-house medical expert in our segment, medical news with a man who's done 47 years of successful medicinal practice, the one and only Dr. Adi Doctor D A D. Not your dad, not my dad, D A D. Hello, good evening and morning to you. This side it is Dr. Adi Doctor, and on that side it is you and the person operating the camera, though not at the same time. Good evening, good morning. In this month's medical news, the big medical question today that people are asking is, why do men cheat? Why do men cheat? Well, sometimes it's like going to a restaurant with your friends. You order what you want, and then when you see what the other person has, you wish you had ordered that instead. <laughs> it is a proven fact that in India, 20 percent, 20 bloody percent of married men cheat. Of course, the other 80 percent cheat when they are out of India. I have observed this on my Lala tours last year when I went to a place called uh, Sri Lanka. <laughs> to discuss why men cheat, joining us now from Atlanta is CNM's chief psychiatric correspondent, uh, uh, Dr. Sanjo Gupta. Dr. Sanjo Gupta? It's Gupta, Gupta. Sanjeev Gupta, Gupta. Uh, that's what I said, uh, the Dr. Gupta. Gupta, Gupta. Yeah, that, that, I said that, no, I said Gupta. I always said the same name. I said Dr. Gupta. I only said Gupta. Did I not say Gupta? I said Gupta. <laughs> Dr. Gupta, you are a psychiatrist? Yeah, I'm a psychiatrist. 
that I don't see a couch. I always thought that psychiatrists always had a couch in their rooms. Well, I used to have a couch, but it interfered with my work. No, no, what are you saying? You're not making any sense now. Why? Why is that? You see, I started using it myself. W what's wrong with that? What is wrong? Well, a psychiatrist should not lie down on the couch. Is that so, really? Especially when there's a patient already on it. <laughs> oh. oh, you should not do it. You should not do it then. Especially if you're overweight like yourself. You should not do it. Okay, uh, let me get to the question at hand. I want to talk to you about men who cheat. Yes, men who cheat. You want to talk about yourself. <laughs> How did you know I, I, I no no I, I don't I'm who no nothing I don't I'm not a cheater I'm not all right come on come on I know all about it I'm a psychiatrist I can see it in your face you, know, you can ask Ben Nars, uh, my wife of 20 years you can also ask Babita who's this neighbor I don't I don't uh, what rubbish okay 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 let's do a small test okay it's called the blood test I'll show you some pictures and you tell me what do you see well, can I, can I, can I do it do it okay fine okay Here's the first picture. Look at it carefully and tell me, what does this represent to you? Uh, I, uh, this is a, a woman and a man on a beach lying without clothes. When I say beach, I mean that, you know, sea area. All right. <laughs> How about this? This is a woman having a shower. Woman having a shower. Okay. What about this? Yeah, yeah, this is complicated. It's a, it's a man and a woman on a cycle, you know, doing that uh, thing they do. I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. See, you see what I mean? You have a dirty mind. No, what, what rubbish, what absolute rubbish. You have a dirty mind, you are showing me the dirty pictures and you're asking me to tell you what... These, the... these, these, these are dirty pictures? Give me your wife's number, I need to speak to her urgently. I'm not going to give you my wife's number. Nine, nine, nine. I'll get the number from somewhere if you don't give it to me. Okay, all right, stop shouting at me. I'll give it to you. Her name is Delna, and you can call her on this number, 9821069669. What? That's 360. Oh, wow, yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay, thanks, thanks, okay. Sorry about that. I want to end with another medical issue, the film Pico. Yes, we have film Pico, the Amitabh Bachchan and Deepika Padukone. It's all about the medical problem of constipation. Now, I believe they are making a sequel to the film between you and me, and the new film is going to be called Constipation. We are all waiting patiently because it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> you like the way I did that? It hasn't come out yet. Okay, okay, it's time to answer some calls from my patients with medical problems, huh? serious problems. Hello, yes? Doctor, I am embarrassed. I am very embarrassed to say this. But I'm suffering from constipation. Don't be embarrassed about constipation. You watch TV programs, you get constipated. Yes, I have not been able to go for three weeks. Oh my God, what? Three weeks? That's not a joke. I just sit over there sometimes for hours and hours and hours and nothing happens. So, can't you sit there for hours and hours and nothing happens? Yes, doctor. Is there anything I can take? Let me think for a second. You sit there for hours and hours, huh? Yes, and is there anything I can take? Ajay, Ajay, you listen to me carefully. Next time, you take a big fat book with you. What? To read, he has to read something, na? All right, now you please take a break, and then that person who needs the medical attention will come back on the show after the break. And I have a number, so I want to give her a call. I just want to try this thing about help my constipation. Welcome back to the R that wasn't, unless of course you're in Japan. To understand that, rewind the show and see the beginning first four minutes. That was not make any sense. All right, I have some breaking news before we go into our next uh, overseas account section. And the breaking news is we've decided, BCCI has accepted who the new coach will be. We've got a new coach and I'll just tell you, it's a 75 foot semi Volvo uh, bus uh, coach, which is uh, a 24 seater. So all the cricketers and uh, their support staff will fit in it. So that's it, the coach is sorted out. Don't talk about the coach ever again. You breathe for a minute, I'll breathe for a second, and we go to something much better, Germany. This is called our overseas account. So let's start with Germany. In Germany, Audi, the car manufacturer, who's giving me a 20% discount on a seven-year-old car, which hasn't been painted in months, has just rolled out what they call e-diesel. It's not a disease. It's a car. <laughs> Basically, what this means is that their new generation car will run on air and water. Now, between you and me, that is no big feat. I mean, Kaniz Malkani, our correspondent, has already acquired one such car, similar one, different brand. Let's go straight to Kaniz, who at this very moment is joining us in a new car that runs on water. Here I am, Cyrus, with these two bottles of water, which is all I need to fuel this beautiful car. Come have a look. And there you go.
you go. I've filled up the tanks. Come with me. Let's fire up the engine. What? Well, what are you doing? No petrol, no diesel, just water. Why don't you go have a look? <laughs> no horsepower, just manpower, Cyrus. <laughs> Excuse me, please, what your teacher said about Jorsey. That is why German technology is a little bit different from Indian technology. You know, that's the difference that I see. Now, when will the Germans catch up with us, yaar? Look at her. So far advanced her thinking. Kanis, I bow to you, but my ball spot will be seen. So here we go. All right. And from Germany, we move to the UK because they're very close. And during 1939 and 45, almost became one. <laughs> Well, the world-famous boy band, UK, the world-famous boy band was born. Uh, One Direction it was called. And now, today, One Direction is in big trouble. But first, the question is, do you know who One Direction is? And I'll tell you the answer. One Direction is an English-Irish pop band based in London who are winners of the X Factor in 2010 and then propelled to international success by social media. And One Direction then became the first band in US Billboard history to have their first four albums debut at number one at the same time. No, that can't be possible, idiot. But at number one, four. Have a look at a clip of a song from One Direction. You're insecure, don't know what for. You turn heads when you walk through the door. Don't need makeup to cover. quite the Beatles, but what the hell. Ironic, isn't it, that a band can be called One Direction when all the members go both ways. In Ireland, it's allowed. Okay, now, One Direction is in trouble, my friends, like I said in the beginning, because one lead member has walked out, another member, Manny Styles, is not talking to another member, Louis Tomlinson. This is not good for the future of the band, and if they continue like this, they may all go their own ways, and there will be no more One Direction. And if, by the way, if they stay together, and keep fighting, they're going to be an unhappy lot. So here's One Direction 20 years later. We have the technology. We can actually go into the future. And let me just tell you, they're together. They're fighting. They're older. They're fatter and smellier. They're called Fat Direction. One Direction 20 years later, Fat Direction. You're insecure. Don't know what for. I tell you, 
Whatever you say, they were fatter, they were unhealthy looking, but they were beautiful men. They were, I like the guy in the middle, the one with the, you know, the very youthful looks, the black hair. Some people even said, and I kid you not, some people actually said that that guy, or probably Zain Malik, Zain Malik is his name, looks exactly like me. Zen, Malik and me. Just the same thing uh, for the same price. All right, we'll take a break while you digest that and I call the Maliks and ask them if I'm their son. What? The mother's two years younger than me. Welcome back. Heat wave continues over large parts of the country. While I stay here in 16 degrees, uh, air-conditioned comfort in my 12-foot studio with five big ACs and Kunal Vijaykar blowing air at me at the same time. The country is suffering, especially down south. The searing heat wave in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana has killed uh, almost a thousand people as vast parts of the country reeled under the unrelenting summer heat, with temperatures rising to anywhere between 5 to 8 degrees above normal. And you and I both know that there is no such thing as normal. Normal is terrible, so this is hugely terrible. Let's see how bad things really were in our summer segment called Summer Slam. <laughs> Let's begin with the north. UP facing searing temperatures along with hot winds. So much hot air, it was like being on a news program with Suhail Seth, who I love. In fact, it was so hot that people in Lucknow actually dared to get close. How do I say this? Get close to Mayavati statues. Just for the shade. Very large, yaar. I'm to get Lucknow. Huge. The Delhi heat is still unbearable, folks. It's so hot that Rahul Gandhi has decided that he will not walk out of parliament anymore because parliament has free AC. And uh, may I say, the best ACs in the business. I wonder how they get it. Oh, strange. Things were bad in Kerala as well. Very hot, very muggy. So hot that everyone in Kochi now has tons of sweat equity. It's an IPL reference. It's a very layered joke. It can also be used in the Dubai Gulf area, but I would prefer the IPL reference because ours is an intelligent show. <laughs> West Bengal also suffered some intense heat over the past couple of weeks, but the people there were happy because now they have two reasons to bunk work, which are Bund Heat Web. <laughs> Sorry, Bond Heat Web. Let's go straight to Lucknow, which is suffering from an intense heat wave as well as an acute water shortage. Joining us from Lucknow is, well, his name is Bobby. Bobby! Hello, hello, Cyrus, hello. Bobby, tell us, uh, what's the heat like in Lucknow when I believe there's a huge water shortage? Oh, things are very serious, very, very serious here, Cyrus. No, no, listen, what do you mean that the heat is so much that the crop in and around Lucknow has dried up? Explain that. No, 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 Cyrus, it's, it's worse than that. It's more worse than that. What, um, is there no water? Are people facing an actual drought? I mean... No, 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 no. That all is, all that is normal in UP. See, I'm talking about the worst, much, much, big worst. Oh, you're scaring me. What the hell are you saying, Bobby? What is the big emergency in UP? No, no, don't hold back. Let the viewer know. Cyrus, there is no water to wash Mayawati's statue. Can you imagine? Mayawati's statue, the bigger ones. Oh my God, you should never, of course, of course, national tragedy, ladies and gentlemen. No water to wash Mayawati's statues. Or, or Malayam's hands. Why are they close to the statue? No, they're not. They get dirty sometimes, I'm told, that's all. <laughs> uh, if there's a liquid shortage in UP, of course, maybe Mr. Gadkari could help. <laughs> Don't mean anything by that. I'm just saying that we are one when it comes to tragedy. So we'll all help, all the parties together. Now let's go to our socialite and part-time reporter, Kaniz Malkani, who's in a really, really hot Delhi, also terrible. Uh, Kaniz, how's it there? How's the heat? Hello, Cyrus. I'm here in Delhi right now trying to find out what the common man thinks about the rainfall situation. I have with me a local Delhi man. Uh, what's your name, sir? Hello, madam. Uh, I am Sunny. <laughs> uh, Sunny? Were well, you like named after the weather or something? <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts about the rainfall? Uh, rainfall. Okay. Madam, uh, the, I tell you one thing. The common man of Delhi, like me, uh, only need one thing. Rain. More rain or ghani rain. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what you want after a long summer, right? <laughs> oh, no, no, wo, wo baat nahi hori, madam. Uh, we need uh, rain for the other reason. <laughs> well, rain's good for the economy too, right? <laughs> oh, economy gai, meri ka dood nikalne. <laughs> madam, baat wo na hori. We need uh, rain for the other reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what is that, Sunny? Please tell us. Uh, the, are, madam, aap to padhe likhe ho, samajdar ho. See, look. Rain plus ladies in white clothes. Matlab chalta phirta item number. Wo ho jaya kare nature ka wet t-shirt contest. Vaisa madam, 
रेन हो या समर मरने तो तुम भी हॉट लग रही हो चलो दिल्ली घुमा लाऊ रे मैडम बैठ बोले रो मैं स्पेशल तेरी खातिर लाया रे मैडम बैठ बोले रो मैं स्पेशल मैं तू जानती नहीं मेरा बाप कौन है You actually look really familiar. I think I might have met your father. Where could I? Did I meet him at the club? Does he go to the club in the evening? You know, my father. I think you look very really familiar. I might have actually met your father, young man. No, 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 no. I have. Um... No, no, no. Bye, bye. Okay, sorry about that. Let's move to the next state, Punjab. Here, due to the heat and high temperatures, have caused a water shortage. Let's meet uh, Bobby Badal. Common name. Who will give us a monsoon update? Uh, Oh, Bobby ji. Oh, Bobby ji. Uh, hello, hello, Cyrus. As you can see, I am in the Punjab right now. Yeah, I can see that. I'm sure you're not faking it. Just walking into a background which says Punjab, you are definitely in Punjab. And are the people in Punjab feeling the heat? Is there a shortage of water? Have people been forced to lower their consumption of already almost scarce water? Please tell us. Yes, yes, yes. People here are making major, major sacrifices, Cyrus. Like what, Bobby? Like what? Are they becoming strict about avoiding wastage while washing clothes and utensils, for example? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. They are making another bigger, bigger, major sacrifices. What do you mean, Bobby? Please, please. See, because of the water shortage, now people are drinking whiskey, meat. I in Punjab, I can't believe that, yar. We'll run out. We'll wait, run wait, 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 Cyrus, wait. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, okay. Cyrus, Cyrus, I have just heard that Punjab me badal baras rahe hain. Yes. Badal baras rahe hain. You mean it's raining? But well, that's great news. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. Uh, my mistake. Uh, when I said badal baras rahe hain, I meant Prakash Singh badal just. Gone to the loo. Yeah, just gone to the loo. Okay, now I think we're treading on very dangerous territory. So I will take my left foot and go that way. Okay, Bobby, thank you so much, and please join another channel. Thank you, thank you, Cyrus. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Listen, let's let's just move on. Uh, weather is bad. We'll stay with weather, but we'll stay away from these reporters. The Indian Meteorological Department issued a warning that these severe heat wave conditions are expected to continue in most of the country. And joining us now is the additional director general of the Meteorological Department, Mohit. Pavaskar. Now, uh, Mr. Pavaskar, congratulations. Your predictions of this year's summer, you were bang on. I'll admit, completely accurate about most of the country. How did that happen? You see, this time we have used the latest method in meteorology department for weather forecasting here in Mumbai. Yeah. Huh? Unbelievable, unbelievable. But I, I, I congratulate you, sir. Like what? You have some new equipment. Obviously, we are now a first world country. Oh no. It's an old instrument, but we used it properly this time. Great, great. I'm proud. India is proud to know that we are now able to predict weather correctly. Show us this instrument and how it works. This new instrument of yours. Of course, of course. <coughs> this is the very instrument. Heads, it will rain. Tails, it won't. So let's see. What? what? Right. What? What? Sorry, I lost the coin. Right. Actually. That's what happened. The moral of the story is: if you're in India, you throw money in the air, it'll never come back. That's what we were trying to say. Nothing about the weather. Okay, as we come to the end of this episode, let's talk about the IPL, which also ended last week. We look back at the whole month, all filled with IPL. Mumbai Indians won their second IPL crown at Eden Gardens, Kolkata. And eight IPLs later, we at CN and IBN are still struggling to get you some footage from the games. But we have a special guest to discuss the IPL. Joining us now is the one and only Harsha Bhogle. So let's go straight to Mumbai, where Harsha Bhogle will fill us in. Harsha, may I say hello? Thank you. Uh, who are you? Uh, I'm. Uh, should say there. You should. It should be there. It's Cyrus Brocha. Cyrus Brocha. I heard of you. <laughs> That's okay if you want to take that hard route. Who's this man? Just, just a few questions, sir. Just a few questions. No. Don't speak to you. I just stop acting like you don't know each other. We shared a taxi ride once, and I had to pay. I remember. Just one question. See, I'd really like to be part of the IPL next year, so you know. Yeah. Okay. I'll recommend you. Yeah. I'd like to. I'm talking about cricket. I'd like to open for Mumbai. Difficult. Okay. Then can I be a bowler? No. Okay. Then at least let me be a fielder. I won't be closing. Very tough. Wicketkeeper. Sure. Okay. Then what will you recommend me as? Cheerleader. What? Cheerleader with my V shape, my classical Adonis looks. Cheerleader. You know, what the hell? Why knock it before we try it? You know, I mean, what the hell? Yeah, what the? Hell? I'll give it a go. Thanks, Harsha. I'll give it a go. Cheerleader it is. Woo.
We may be old, we may be fat, but IPL is this and that. The season's over, it's time to yell for IPL, then we'll shave our legs as well. D for Dhoni, C for Gil, some teams win, some teams fail. Eight long years of doing this well, might as well tell you half of us are male. I'll repeat those last lines. I might as well tell you, most of us are male. <laughs> Cheap cheerleaders. Okay, really shocked? Do you want one more big shock? One of these cheerleaders, well, we have breaking news, one of the cheerleaders is pregnant. <laughs> and she wants to reveal the name of the father of the child who is a huge celebrity. The biggest, one of the biggest in India. I kid you not. So here goes. Let's have it live and exclusive on CNN and IBN. The hour that wasn't, we reveal the name of this evil man. Hi, uh, ma'am, uh, your name is? Babushka, Babushka Shaposhnikova. Babushka Shaposhnikova. Mm-hmm, Babushka Shaposhnikova. But you don't, uh, you don't really look Russian or Eastern European at all, I don't. Actually, you know, my name is not Babushka Shaposhnikova. It's Babita Shavastov. <laughs> what? You know what, yaar, they only want the gori-gori Russian girls, they don't hire us Indian girls, so I had to change my name. Yeah, 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 let's not get into race and all that, but I'm going to talk about more important things. Let's talk about what you want to do here, about your big revelation on TV. No, I mean, yaar, nahin, I can't do striptease on TV, yaar, no, 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 no. No, I mean, not that way, I mean about your expose. What do you think of me, yaar? I come from a good family, I've done eight standard uh, metric, I almost passed it. No, 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 I, oh God, no. Were you, uh, were you not going to give us a big scoop today about you being pregnant and the guy and... Ah, Ah, yes, yes, yes. Gee, I was about to reveal the name of the father. Yeah. So we are all excited, but before you reveal the name of the father, let's start from the beginning. This terrible deed happened during the IPL? Yes, yes, it did. And when did you sort of get with child? It was after the first match on April 8th. <laughs> My God, after the first match? Mm-hmm. No, no, after the toss for the first match in April 8th, uh, IPL. Oh, after the toss, that quickly? Woo! Any specific memories? Yes, Gambhir called heads. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Uh, but listen, please, let's get to it. Babushka Shoposhnikov, who is the man, who is the dastardly person responsible for your situation? Why don't you guess? Okay, I'll do better than that. Let's look at our audience poll on, uh, let's call it Twitter. 72% suggest it was Chris Gale. Oh, no, no, Chris is such a fine gentleman. How dare you say that, yaar? I've dated him and he's never tried to take the touching or advantage of me. He's not done anything like that, yaar. Really? That's not the Chris I know. Okay, 16% suggests uh, Suresh Raina. No, wrong again. He's a real cutie pie. I love Suresh Raina. He's my favorite, favorite cricketer. I've even had a few too many ones with him. And Suresh is such a nice man. He didn't even take advantage. He didn't put his hand anywhere. My mistake, his elbow touched my elbow, but it was not by mistake, an accident. Never touched you. What were you, shot outside the leg stop? <laughs> no, 15% uh, of a respondent point to Lasit Malinga, Sri Lankan. Oh, Lasit Malinga has such willpower. Lasit is he's a gook, he's a god. My god, what willpower. Uh, yeah, yeah, you've lost me. Willpower? Yeah, just that day he entered my hotel room by mistake while I was showering. Can you believe it? And you won't believe what he did here. What, what? He just ran out of the room. He ran away. He didn't turn around to take a look. What willpower? What willpower, really? I love Lasit. <laughs> I think that affected the early part of the season, huh? I think he did, wasn't able to get his yokers on. Yeah, I see, I see. Uh, so who, who, please, we're running out of time. Who is this dastardly man? Again, I repeat, who, Miss uh, 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 Shapishnikov Srivastav, who is this man? Please tell us. Remember me, Cyrus? Or should I say scoundrel? Womanizer? Rogue? Charlatan? Swine? Huh? Yeah, but he is here! Huh? Huh? He is here! You should take responsibility! You're an adult male! You better look after him! You better look after it! Oh, we seem to have lost the feed suddenly. There seems to be some technical difficulty and we weren't able to expose the name. We'll find out who he is and next time on the hour that uh, wasn't, we will give you the name of that terrible human being. Whoever he is, I spit on him for doing that to a lady and running away. That's all we have time for. The show ends here. It's called the hour that wasn't, except in Japan, where it's called Toshibolo. It's a half Japanese Indo production, so we have half half. Toshi and Bolo. Bolo is Japanese. Toshi is uh, Bengali. I met a girl called Toshi once. That was the only time I met her. <laughs> there, ah, there wasn't ad lib. Nevertheless, let's get on with it. Yeah. No, 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 no. I have big one. 
जब यू स्पोक एंड ही स्पोक दैट वाज आल्सो अ प्रॉब्लम वैसे मैडम रेन हो या समर मन्ने तो तुम भी हॉट लग रही हो यू जस्ट गो टू द दिस थिंग नॉट द लाइन नो वांट टू एंड गो रेडी 